Hi, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. If you'd like to know how to add animation to your AR filter, this video is for you. I'm gonna take this snowflake and make it move and spin. Wanna see the result? Subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Yeah, I do miss winter. All right, I'm gonna use this snowflake, so let's drag and drop it to our scene. Whoa, whoa, it is big. Just like my love for winter. I'm gonna make it smaller. So, here it is. I don't like the color. Let me make it truly white. Something like this, white, white. All right, good. Now this snowflake stays in the middle of the screen, but I want it to move, right? Let's add animation to it. In order to add animation, I'm gonna use the patch editor. So I open the patch editor. And for the animation, I add the loop animation patch. And then through the progress output, I add transition patch. Now let's go back to the snowflake. I select it here and then go to the inspector panel and take a look at the transformations. We have position, scale and rotation and we can manage all these parameters. First of all, I'd like to uh, create a patch from position like this and connect. So if you take a look at the viewport, you see that something is happening because the transition patch already has um, these parameters 0 and 1. Of course, it is not the way I want it to be. So let's correct it. Since I want the snowflake to move only along two axes, I mean in 2D in not in 3D, I don't need the Z axis. Now it moves like this, but of course it is too fast. If you need to change the duration of your animation, you need to use the loop animation patch. This thing here, duration, is in seconds. So let's say 3, for instance. Okay, much better. By the way, if you don't know how to determine a position of your object, you can look here and see that these numbers here, they're changing. So they show you the actual position of your object for all the axes. So basically, uh, the middle of the screen here is zero, zero. So it's zero for X and zero for Y. If you remember the coordinate axis, you can simply understand what is happening here. Next, I want it to rotate. And since I want it to rotate, I need the rotation, this one. Again, I click here and create a patch from 3D rotation. And I need another transition patch. And if you connect it now, it is going to rotate uh, kind of strange. And again, we need to correct these numbers here. To make it easier for us to manage the rotation, I'm gonna disconnect these patches and just work with this snowflake in the middle of the screen. So, if I say 90, so again, it's just a math. So we can rotate it along three axes, X, Y, and Z. The bad thing is the snowflake, the 3D model of the snowflake is different for both sides. So it looks interesting from one side and not that good from another, but I don't think it's a big deal for the tutorial purposes. It's not about a perfect 3D model, it's about animation. You need to understand that we got a circle and circle is uh, 360 degrees. 
So if you want an object to make a full circle, it means 360 degrees. Over here is the same thing, because 450 minus 90 means 360. So again, it goes full circle. Full circle means that we will not see any interruptions in the animation. Let me demonstrate. If I type 400 here, you can see the interruption. Like, boop, boop. Because it doesn't go f a full circle. In case you need the rotation to be slower or faster, you need another loop animation patch. Because right now, this duration parameter works for both the transition patches. So, let me connect it again and take a look how it works. Our snowflake is falling down. My next step is to add more snowflakes and create a small snowfall. Hey, hey, take a look at this list of categories. There is much more to learn. By the way, do you know that you can earn good money as an AR creator? Yes? No? <laughs> Check the link in the description and join my new big course. See you there! Here is the final result! Oh, look at this snowfall! Mm, it looks great! Now you know how to work with animation patches, and that's great! Thanks for watching! See you soon!